Hey Martin, this is Joe in Las Vegas. I apologize it's taken me a few days to make this video for you, but I want to address what you were, uh, what we were talking about your student. His track man numbers were just way, way down too steep, you know, four, four and a half degrees down. And then he's swinging across the ball eight degrees. Uh, just can't play golf like that, uh, just impossible. So this is the drill that I would prescribe for that golfer that will help him more than you can imagine. Uh, obviously you can see the golf ball is teed up fairly well. I mean, for him, he actually needs to do that. You know, teeing the ball down, it's something that some players do, but for this guy, he needs to tee the ball up to give him a sense of hitting up on the ball. So that being said, assuming an orthodox grip, orthodox stance. Uh, I know that since you've been teaching him, without question, he's got a good grip and stance. No question about that. Once he's taking his stance, making sure the ball is up in his stance, and I, hopefully he'll be watching this video, what I would like to see him do is once he addresses the golf ball, have him take his zipper or his pelvis and move it as far forward as he can. And if you'll notice, my right foot will kind of come up in a, like a banking type fashion. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you'll notice, I have probably 95% of my weight forward. So have him set up to the shot, move his hips as far forward as he can, where his right foot is banked over, and have him take the handle of his golf club and move it ever so slightly forward like this. And from this position, he needs to focus on three things. The first thing is A, he's going to hit little half punch shots. So the first thing to focus upon is A, the weight stays forward, the hips stay forward. They don't move back in the backswing. So the hips and the weight stay forward is number one. Number two is in the downswing, his arms stay absolutely straight. We don't want any flexing, any rolling over, or any bending of the elbows. When you bend the elbows, the angle of attack tends to go down, and flexing of the elbows tends to make the path or the swing direction go to the left. So, weight stays the most forward, hips are forward, and if you'll notice, this is also creating axis tilt, which this golfer, without question, doesn't have axis tilt, or he doesn't have nearly enough. So the hips are forward, banking the foot, the arms are straight, and the handle is slightly forward. And have him hit punch shots like this. And if you'll notice, when I finished, the pelvis was completely forward, axis tilt was kicked in, Arms were straight this way. If he will do that, uh, and if he happens to be at the golf school on the 21st, we'll get him on track, man. If he does that, his launch angle is going to come up tremendously. That low, steep, across swing direction will be gone. He's going to start drawing the ball, hitting it higher, getting it out of the ground. And just to, re uh, to recap, Martin, weight all the way forward with axis tilt, handle forward, Weight stays forward, here's impact, weight forward, arms straight. Thanks Martin, I'll see you on the 21st.